producer Joe Wayne had decided to give us a pure bar class. I'm going to talk to Berea and find out what we've gotten ourselves into, okay? Great. All right, here we go. So we've got two different projects. We're going to have, um, you are going to do the love bug with us today. We are here with Anna Marshall. We are so excited. She's a stager for the stars, and she has stopped by my house here in Franklin County, and we are going to work on the inside of my house. Yes. All right, well, on the topic of eating, yeah. did you know that spending an excessive time sitting at work or at home uh -huh. can actually undo all the exercise you're doing? You're kidding. No, I'm, I'm not kidding. So how sweet do we want it today, guys? Very sweet. Sugar. <laughs> Eyeshadow is definitely something you can save on, but eyeliner, splurge, because you're going to use a lot less of the product. There's a lot of products that are involved, both with your skincare routine and your makeup routine, and some people just kind of freestyle it, yeah, wing yeah. it, and throw it on work. I'm an overpacker. I'm a super overpacker. Oh, I one weekend trip, 10 outfits minimum. Two big farmers are lively, who you see. <laughs> Oh, you're the man for me. Sometimes you shouldn't do it yourself. We want to know the best local place for home services. Arnold, 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 we're watching the TV. Arnold, 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 as happy as can be. Nailed it! Joanna, you're fired. Hey, Bridget. We are out here at Crunch Fitness in Roanoke County. I have Elizabeth Gentilomo here with me. She is the yoga instructor here at Crunch Fitness, and I just got to experience one of her classes, and it was truly amazing. Thank you so much for having us. Oh, thank you. Sometimes moms just need a minute, and whether it's finding time to use the bathroom by ourselves or saving a few precious minutes in the morning getting ready. I'm here at Glam House Day Spa, and they're going to show me how I can speed up my routine in the morning to make things run a little bit smoother in my household. Now, you guys have a giant announcement for December. <laughs> I, I am do. so excited about this. I told you guys, this is my favorite. <laughs> favorite musical. I didn't want to spoil it. So um, we do have a cute little video announcement that we want to play from you guys so you guys can find out. So people need to get out here soon if they're going to want to get items personalized. And Absolutely. I'm going to get my shopping on. So let's see what we can find for my mom. Okay, great. Hi, these are going to be perfect for my mom. Do you think I can get them personalized? Yeah, them. Awesome. Maybe we could do the coral on the mint. Wouldn't that be pretty? Yeah. yeah. How'd they turn out? They are so good. I love them, and they look great together. We're here with Tyler, and he's going to show us how to make some of these brick house fresh pizzas. So let's get started here. Sure. What do we need? Yeah. And then just keep it flour so it doesn't yeah. get sticky. Exactly. Perfect. And then Justin's going to show us how we throw them up in the air, get a nice circle out yes, of them. Yes, yes. As you turn it up. <laughs> Knuckles. Yep. <laughs> so definitely bacon. Definitely bacon, I definitely bacon. cheese, probably tomatoes. Okay. Are there mushrooms over there? I think that sounds yep. like my perfect pizza. Congratulations to Brick House Pizza in Radford for being named the best local pizza place. Virginia's Blue Ridge is one of the most beautiful and iconic parts of the American landscape. And while our mountains, trails, and scenic views attract outdoor lovers from all walks of life, the area is also rich in arts, culture, and history, inspiring artists to bring the beauty of the Blue Ridge to life. As you travel around, you'll see art as a part of everyday life here in Roanoke, from captivating wall murals to sculptures decorating city streets, and even on buses, with Roanoke City's Art by Bus campaign taking to the streets for its fifth year. The goal is to bring attention to the importance that public transportation plays in our community. You know, it's a vital service, it's something that connects every neighborhood in the valley, and we thought, you know, what better way to celebrate that than to take some gorgeous art, kind of turn that side of that bus into a canvas, um, show off that art and then that art was going to touch every neighborhood in Roanoke every single day, every hour. This year, Ride Solutions and the City of Roanoke's Arts Commission teamed up with a local university to create original work designed specifically for this impressive mobile canvas. We were very lucky to be able to work with Holland University and their art class this year to develop some pieces that were specifically designed for the bus and, and really to focus on something that told a story about community. My whole goal with this was just to provide something that literally everyone could relate to. Mm -hmm. Something that would spark 
good memories and something that might make people laugh. Yeah. We all kind of participated in helping each other along the way and um, it was really fun. It was almost like a group project and then one of us got picked, so that was nice. Countless artists call Virginia's Blue Ridge home, with dozens of local galleries showcasing talented creators who find inspiration among the Blue Ridge Mountains. Each year, some of these artists open their homes and studios to you to experience firsthand how the creative process works. Eric Fitzpatrick organizes the Open Studios Tour each year, welcoming art lovers to be a part of the experience. This is such a rich area, it has so much to give, and uh, if any art lover is coming on the interstate, they need to veer off and come to Roanoke and see how cool it is. The arts community is amazingly robust, because not only do you have the visual artists, but you have like opera, symphony, ballet, and a couple of ballets come to think of it, but everything's so healthy for a city of this size, a valley of this size, I think it's totally remarkable. And you don't have to make stops at a studio to enjoy the incredible collection of art Roanoke has to offer. Just take to the streets. Over just the past few years, Roanoke has amassed a large collection of sculptures and wall murals decorating popular areas. In fact, it is one woman's job to find art to showcase in the Star City, like the popular Elmwood Park. This is a great location to feature public art, and it was actually set up that way when the park was redesigned several years ago. It's wonderful because there's so many events here. It just makes a real focal point for downtown for public art. And the future is looking bright for the Star City and artists alike, as more people start to recognize the art and beauty all around them. A lot of times people in our own backyard don't even realize what we have here. So I think the more we promote it, we'll have more visitors and more local people taking part as well. It's really a hub for the arts in Southwest Virginia. So whether you're enjoying a local festival or walking the streets of downtown Roanoke or even stopping by a local artist studios, some of the most beautiful and unique sights the Blue Ridge has to offer aren't found on top of a mountain, but down on street level. And this is just the first part of our Trail Setter series. Over the next few months, we're going to highlight the music, the beer, the food, and all of the incredible parts of the Blue Ridge that make this place home. Later this month, we'll check out the diverse cultures represented in our area and the influence they have on our everyday lives. You can find them all on our website, daytimebluridge.com. I am here in Salem and I have their all-female broadcaster team with me. We have Melanie and Susie and they are about to face off in the newlywed game because these two ladies are going to be working together from now on and they need to get to know each other just a little bit better. So we've got some really tough questions for them today. Not really tough at all, but it's going to be great. First off, what is your favorite professional baseball team? You will each be answering for the other person. So let's see if you know your co-host. What is Susie's favorite team? I'm going with Pittsburgh. She's correct. Verdict is we have one point. <laughs> Susie, what do you think about your co-host? The Boston Red Sox. Yup. Easy, Salem Red Sox, Boston Red Sox. All right, that's one for each of them. Let's see if the next question can stump them. What is your co-host's favorite ballpark snack? So many options here. Got hot dogs, got some dipping Dots. Nachos. I put ice cream. I think actually I'm gonna go with pretzel. Pretzel! <laughs> Let's see if you know Susie any better than she knows you. <laughs> Sunflower seeds. It's actually ice cream. <laughs> oh, so she picked her own favorite thing. <laughs> so we've still got one to one here, guys. We're gonna have to work on the snacks. If you were to take the field with the team, what position would you play? What would Susie play? Center field. Center field, Susie? That's correct. That is absolutely correct. That is two, two to one here, Susie. Let's see if you can pull this one out. Susie, what did you say? I said pitcher. Left field. <gasps> Left field! Her arm is too tired to pitch anymore. All right, next question. Favorite baseball player of all time? Who is Melanie's favorite baseball player of all time? I already know I'm wrong, but I'm gonna just say Bo Jackson. That is correct. Oh, coming from behind with a win. Yeah. What is Susie's favorite player of all time? Roberto Clemente. That's correct. You are on fire over here. I believe the score is three. Is it three to two? All right, guys, this is getting tougher. Who is your co-host's favorite broadcaster? I said Joe Block and Aaron Andrews. Ooh. Um... I'm more of a Bob Walk kind of person in the booth. And then I'll go with Aaron Andrews. That's a good, yeah. What do you think Newman's favorite broadcasters are? 
I put <laughs> Joe Buck. <laughs> I'm not sure that that's right. <laughs> What's the other one? <laughs> and Elena Rizzo. I do love Alana. Um, but Vin Scully and Sophia Minaert. All right. So that's zero for Susie. Next question. Okay. If your co-host were in the Hall of Fame for something, what would it be for? Ooh, ooh, ooh. What would Melanie be in the Hall of Fame for? I said never sleeping, but somehow still functioning at work. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's pretty that's accurate. accurate. I said for being the GM of a major league team and their broadcaster. Ooh, GM and broadcaster. Is that a good goal for you? That, yeah, I would say that's a, that's a correct answer there, Mel. This is our last question, guys. This is a big one. We're going we're gonna to ask them which of these baseball players they would start, bench, or release. Derek Jeter, Bryce Harper, or Chris Bryant. And yes, I had to Google all three of those people. I said start Jeter, bench Chris Bryant, and release Harper. Peace out, Harper. I would actually <laughs> do do what I wrote on my form. Oh, we're going to find out her answer here in a moment, because what did you think Melanie was going to do? I thought that Melanie would release Harper, start Bryant, and bench Jeter. A point, because we're both releasing Harper. Okay. Bye. Both of them said bye bye to Harper. But I'm going to tell you what, I got some bad news for Susie Cool over there. I think Melanie just kicked her butt at this game. Thanks for playing along. I hope you guys have a wonderful season, and it's good getting to know you guys and letting you guys get to know each other. So, of course, we asked, and you voted, and who did you choose as the best local gym? Big Lit CrossFit. Yeah, that's right. Joanna and I, we headed out to the Bonsack area to experience what Big Lit CrossFit is all about. Take a look. We asked and you voted. What is the best local gym to get fit in the new year? We are here at Big Lit CrossFit. I brought my friend Jonathan Kegis along with it. me, and we are really excited slash really nervous. Afraid, terrified. We are both very new at CrossFit. We watched some videos to find out what to expect. We might be a little intimidated, but yeah. let's get going. So you guys just won this amazing award. Tell me a little bit about why people are so in love with Big Lit CrossFit. <laughs> We asked ourselves the same question. We were like, why do these people, first off, choose CrossFit and what keeps them here at Big Lit CrossFit? So uh, instead of creating that answer ourselves, we went to them and I asked them, I said, why do you guys work out with us? And uh, I heard three responses that were across the board from so many people. And one of those was the accountability okay. that comes along with being mm -hmm. here because no one here is just a number. Um, we know everybody here, basically, and the effectiveness of what we do and just the community. It's one of the, I mean, it literally is the most welcoming community. I keep thinking, how do we keep getting these awesome people who show up at our door? It's effective program that includes strength training plus cardio, which most people want to do kind of one or the other mm -hmm. of those things, but we force you to do both. And, um, and basically, you become part of a community and you have a coach, you show up, there's a one hour uh, planned program for you when mm -hmm. you show up for the day. You don't have to think about it. And we always tell people, you're absolutely positively gonna work out harder here within this group than you ever would on your own. Anybody who starts CrossFit, I always say it's like CrossFit Kindergarten or CrossFit 101. You're gonna meet with a coach at least four times. You're gonna go through all the fundamental movements of CrossFit and then we help merge you into regular classes so you don't walk in feeling like a deer in headlights. Well, we are very excited and nervous to get going, so I know we're gonna get this workout started. Awesome. The sweat intensity comes, guys. Let's go. Two, one, let's move. Let's go, pull up. There you go. There you go. Now you're pulling. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Shouldn't have had that queso for for the yeah. gym. Okay, 
CrossFit. What's the most important lesson about CrossFit? Don't eat queso before. Oh! oh, oh, oh. CrossFit. He ate a lot. Right. One, two, three! Get it! Good job, y'all. Congratulations to Big Lick CrossFit for being chosen the best local gym. Well, we sure had a great <laughs> time out there, minus the queso, Kegis. Shouldn't have had that before. That was a true story. That was a true story. It was a guest on our show. We just kept eating the queso. Mm -hmm. I told him he was going to regret it, but I was feeling that workout for days afterwards. Literally on Monday was the first day I felt good again. That was about four days. <laughs> yeah, your like legs were again. bugging you. My, my shoulders and arms were on yeah. fire, so we definitely got in a great workout. It was a great place, so be sure to head out to Bonsack and check them out and experience it for yourself. Next week, the Berglund Center hosts a night of entertaining fun as the Harlem Globetrotters once again take to the court. We're excited to welcome one of these talented performers and athletes to Daytime Blue Ridge today. We have Speedy Artis with us. Thank you so much for joining us, Speedy. How you doing? How you Can't doing? even keep you still. You're just going all the time. Well, welcome gotcha. to Roanoke. Good to be here. Absolutely. Is this your first time with the Globetrotters here in Roanoke, or have you been before? No, this is my first time being here in Roanoke. Very exciting. So how long have you been playing with the Globetrotters? This is my third season with the world-famous Harlem Globetrotters, so I've been to countless cities and yeah. different countries. Tell me stuff. about some of your favorite experiences you've had. Uh, one of my favorite experiences I had was up in Quebec, Canada. Okay. And um, at home, I got to play in front of my family and friends. Oh, so that's that was great. really, really fun and really special for me. That is definitely special. So how long have you been playing basketball? So as long as I can remember. As long you know. as you could hold yeah. the ball, right? Yeah. yeah. So tell us a little bit about how you ended up with the Harlem Globetrotters, because a lot of people love basketball mm -hmm. in their younger years. So how did you make it into a career? Well, I mean, at first it started with hard work, yeah. countless hours in the gym, day in and day out, just perfecting my craft, getting better each and every day. And then I just got a phone call to come try out for the Harlem Globetrotters, went, made the team. That's amazing. What a great turn of events. So how yep. long have you been doing these kind of tricks? Is this something you started when you joined the Globetrotters or is this something you've been doing your whole life too? Actually, it's something I learned after I made the team. Okay. Uh, they taught me how to do it. And then from there, it just got, I got better at it by just taking a ball with me everywhere, carrying it to my room, carrying it when I'm just walking around or just sitting around watching TV. It's like your child, huh? Yep. So show us some of your stuff. <laughs> well, show us some of your skills this is here our that you've mastered. Iconic since trick. That is the, the iconic spin. trick. Yes. So you want to do the ball I'm, spin? I have been working out my finger for yep. this exact moment. So you're going to put it right here. This, again, my basketball skills are about as low as they go. Oh, look at me, Mom. <laughs> ah, that's so fun. Oh, my gosh. So tell, show me what else you got here. So we're talking lots of ball handling. So if people are coming out to the show, I'll make you talk while you play. Yeah. If people are coming out to the show, what can they expect? They can expect to have a lot of fun, mm -hmm. laugh a lot. You know, a globe charter game is much different than a regular basketball yeah. game. You know, there's going to be... Players up in the stands, you know, eating your concessions, taking some popcorn from you, maybe. You, you never know, <laughs> splashing you with some water. You never know what's going to happen at a Glow Charter game yeah. when you come. So Absolutely. it's much different. It's kind of like the circus meets basketball. Yeah, is that right? Bit. You guys are having such show. a good Just time. Just entertainment. Look at Absolutely. And this is fun for all ages, too. You guys have a really good time with the yep. kids. Tell us some of the kids' things you guys have going on. So this is our 2019 oh, Fan Powered Tour. Yeah. And we're more engaged with the fans than ever before bringing kids down on the court to do different things, you know, getting adults involved in the show this year. So it's, it's, a, it's a fun event. So That is so cool. Yeah. So people really don't want to miss this show. So it is next week, yep. you guys. It is Wednesday, March 20th at 7 o'clock at the Berglund Center. All right, I want you to teach me another trick. What else can we do? We can go around the arms. So pick oh, both of your oh, arms okay. out. All right. And you're going to push oh. the ball back and just lean back. All right, this sounds like, oh, okay, we're off go. to a great start. Oh, oh, there you go. There's a mic on my chest. Yep, that's what it is. Oh, okay, all right, <laughs> my basketball skills. I told you my basketball skills were lacking. Maybe there's like a better, oh, no, what I else got you got? What else you got? Come go on. around the back. Oh, oh, yeah, I got longer. Between oh. the legs, hold it up, okay. punch pass. Stop, okay. Around the back. Between the legs, punch pass. Perfect. Oh, there we go. Thank you so much. You guys, make sure that you check out the, um, the Globetrotters next week at the Berglund Center. You don't want to miss Speedy and all his friends.